Hey fam, once again, how are you guys? Welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I'm your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women create the relationship that they want, need, and desire. So now, today, what are we going to be speaking about today? Today we're going to talk about the seven ways your relationship is progressing too fast. Stay tuned. All right, friends, thanks so much for coming back. So, is your relationship moving too fast? How do you know when your relationship is moving too fast? I'm going to give you seven tips to figure this thing out. The very first thing that you need to think about, and if your relationship is moving too fast, is have you met any of his family members in the first few weeks? The first time you guys met, hung out, all of a sudden a family member is appearing. Yes, I know sometimes this happens and it's unplanned, but is it really? Do you know if it's really unplanned? I literally was talking to a client the other day, um, and she she was hanging out with this guy for the very first time, and uh, she really didn't want to spend the night. You know, she didn't want to seem like she, things were moving, progressing too fast, right? Um, they did not sleep over. Um, I mean, they did not have sex. Uh, but when she was in the shower the next morning, his sister was at the door. And she, she, this just, this, it didn't sit too well with her. She was just trying to figure out why is your sister here? <laughs> and it was very early in the morning as well. So she was just trying to figure out what was actually going on. What was going on? And uh, anyway, it didn't sit right with her and she actually ended it with him. But that's a red flag. It's moving too fast. And she already felt like he was super, super, super attached for it to be the first couple of weeks as well. So there was a few things that was going on with him and um, she noticed them, which is great, especially if you're working with me. I'm going to, you know, help you notice those red flags. And so she asked me about him and I was like, mm. you know, I had to listen to the full story because, again, sometimes it could just be a pop up and like, oh. Oh, you got company. But she didn't really know the backstory because when the sister came, she was in the shower, which even further embarrassed her because she's like, I didn't even really want to be here. And like, I felt like you kind of knew that. And, and actually, she did say that his mom was actually supposed to come. So she didn't end up seeing the mom that night, but she met the sister. So again, she was just trying to figure out, was this planned or not? And I feel like you're way overly into me too soon so yes have you met any of the family members too soon the second thing actually goes into the first thing which is have you met any of his friends too soon now this one could be kind of iffy because if it is something organic like if they are having an event and you happen to meet them and then they're like you know what come as my plus one that can be a little bit different right because it's going to be a lot of people around maybe you're just saying yeah because you want to have a good time depending on what the actual activity is going to be the party etc so i get that this can be you know mm -hmm, right but usually when you meet friends and family too soon, it can be a red flag. And it can be a red flag in the sense that, okay, yes, you're meeting them too soon. It could be a red flag in the sense that this person brings a lot of people around. And you just happen to be another check mark on his box. So, <laughs> or her box, you know. Again, I don't want to make it seem like one one sex does something more than the other because it's just not true. Ladies, we've been catching up, honey. If we've been catching up doing all of the uh <laughs> doing all of the things that we used to complain about with men, we're catching up doing those very same things. So I want to make sure that I am talking to both sexes out here. Okay. So yes. Relationship could be progressing too fast if you are meeting the family too soon and definitely the friends too soon. The third way to think if the relationship is moving too fast is if you guys have met only for the first couple months, I'm going to say up to two, maybe three months, and you're already talking about uprooting and moving in together. Like you guys do not know each other at all. At all. 
And so to uproot and automatically be moving in with the person, that is something to think about as well, whether it's a red flag or not, because maybe the person doesn't have anywhere to stay. And it's like, oh, okay, right. So yeah, th this is where I'm going to lay my head for these next few months or next year or whatever, however long the relationship ends up going. That's absolutely a red flag if, you know, if, if they're not able to have their own place to stay or if they're only moving in with they with you or maybe they're only progressing the relationship with you because they need somewhere to stay that is of course a red flag because do they really like you or is it what you can do for them now again this one i get this one too because things can be tricky maybe you know a bad accident truly occur i'm gonna go with the house fire right and they truly have nowhere to go like no family in town and you guys have been talking and the relationship seems to be going well and they're like you know what okay move in with me for x amount of time and then you know you'll be over here and i'll be over here usually that don't work out i have to confess usually that doesn't work out once you get comfortable and you're inside the space you usually end up staying there but my point is so some things can happen but usually if you guys already healthy you have your house they have their house or apartment whatever and you know it's like oh well, we should just move in together everything is just going so well but it usually goes very well in the first couple months because Everybody is usually showcasing their representative versus the real person that they are. The fourth way that your relationship could be moving too fast is that there are too many grand gestures. Yes, what I mean by that is everything has to be big and huge and i'm gonna throw you this huge birthday party i'm gonna take you on this lavish vacation i'm gonna um you know, all of these extravagant dates and I'm going to rent out this place. Everything is huge. And I actually have a friend who's been in a relationship like this that just ended because as much as she loved the extravagant um, dates and going off on all of these uh, lavish vacations and being flown here, being flown there, she loved it. But, but what she realized is that her guy never really could do the everyday thing. And he was always having to be out and doing the fun things, right? So the domestication of the relationship, the mundaneness of the relationship, and how that usually comes into play, he never really could get this in order. Every time they had to be out doing something, and she expressed to him multiple times how she just wanted to be at the house and let's just watch TV tonight. And there was always some way to guilt tripped her in a sense to no let's leave the house let's do x y and z so she ended that one because she wasn't getting what she needed but their relationship absolutely was progressing really really fast so watch out for all of those grand gestures yes they seem good in the moment but think about the mundaneness and the domestication and the way the relationships just kind of settle Usually that person that's doing all of that stuff, they're usually running away from something. There's some type of red flag. There's something that they're hiding. It's something usually when you get all of these extravagant things early on. I'm not saying that you can never get them, but early on, definitely something is up. Especially if it's every single time. Now, if it's a one time or like, you know, and then six months went by and we do something else. But no, I'm talking about if it's every single time. It's a grand gesture. Watch out. It's moving too fast. Number five, your relationship is moving too fast. If only a few months have gone by and you are already telling all of your friends and all of your family that this is the one for you because you don't know that. Again, this is just like moving in with them. You don't know anything about them. Yes, y'all might spend time together. Yes, y'all might talk for hours. Yes, y'all might do X, Y, and Z, but you still don't know. If this person is the one for you because enough time has not passed, enough situations have not occurred usually for you to know if this person truly is the real authentic person, the real authentic self, or if they are showcasing their representative. Again, in most cases, the first few months, even some people can hold out for the first year and be somebody completely different. And as time goes on, 
that just gets old. You can't hold on. You can't be somebody else indefinitely. Eventually, the real person comes out. So after the first few weeks, the first few months, you saying that this person is the one when you're telling everybody, it's moving a bit too fast. Number six. Your relationship is moving too fast if your friends and family are telling you that your relationship is moving too fast. Because here's the thing. Yes, some family and friends can hate on you because they see you happy and all this stuff. But usually, think about this. Usually, your friends and family are just trying to look out for you, number one. Number two, you probably have said this before about somebody else. Number three, your friends and family on the outside looking in and they can see something that you cannot see. They can hear something that you cannot hear because you're all wrapped up in it. So you can't see what's actually happening. And so if your friends and family tell you that, oh, you're probably moving a little too fast, it's probably because you are. It's probably because you are. And it has more, it has less to do with the fact that they're being jealous or whatever, and more to do with the fact that they're trying to keep you from getting hurt because they can see the hurt on the horizon that you can't see because you're too close to it. Yes, there are haters out there. Of course there are. We're not going to say that they're not out there. Yes, they are. And some people really hate to see you happy. But if you have that friend, that one, that friend, or even that family member that usually gives you those words of wisdom, go and ask that family member. Go and ask that friend. Because they're going to be honest and truthful with you and not just placate you. Number seven, your relationship is moving too fast if you have a track record of jumping in and out of relationships and each person is the one so these are the seven ways seven ways to see to understand to know if your relationship is moving way too fast do you identify with any of these do you see yourself in any of these do you know somebody whose relationship is constantly moving too fast send them this video and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel definitely go ahead and hit the red button that says subscribe so you can subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell so you can get notifications whenever I release a new video I'll see you in the next one deuces